The United States Senate will vote tomorrow on legislation put forward by Idaho Senator Jim Risch to free Americans held captive in Iran. The resolution calls for the release of Pastor Saeed Abedini of Boise and three other imprisoned Americans before lifting any sanctions against the country. In the resolution, Risch directs the administration to use all diplomatic tools at its disposal to make sure these Americans are not left behind. It's really um, encouraging for me to know we have such an amazing senator who is doing so much, um, not only for my family, um, for Saeed, uh, who's from Idaho, but he's, you know, the resolution calls for the release of all Americans mm -hmm. that are being held captive. And it's just great to see that he's, he's not, he just continues to push and pre put pressure every chance he gets. Nagme Abedini also encourages people to continue writing the White House and says these kinds of seemingly small actions can help lead to big results as the deadline to make a deal with Iran approaches. Idaho's transportation panel faces some tough decisions in the coming weeks as they try to choose the infrastructure projects that need the most attention. More than 700 maintenance projects will be vying for $95 million in new money approved by the legislature this year. That limited funding is much less than the Idaho Transportation Department said it needed. Officials say they will focus on maintaining and preserving the current state of roads and that safety will be the top priority in the decision-making process. Idaho groundwater users have agreed to cut back more than 10 percent of their water claims in a major deal designed to avoid water shutoffs. Senior water rights holders get priority over junior rights holders in the GEM state, but according to the Times News, senior rights holders in southern Idaho weren't getting the water they needed. The two parties were able to come to an agreement this week and a deal is expected to be signed soon. Limited water may be an issue in parts of the state this year. Earlier this week, the USDA declared five Idaho counties as disaster areas due to drought. Canyon and Payette counties made the list.